there's a piece of deer hanging off my f***ing car, dude. That's not cool, man. Welcome back to Baseline Fresh. Today's video is going to be a lot more fun for you guys than it is for me because we're going to focus on getting nasty, dirty, roadkill smell out of the undercarriage of my car. Uh, yesterday, on my drive to work, I um, drove over a deer in the middle of the road. It was roadkill that someone else had hit, but they didn't get rid of it. And um, it went all in my wheels, it went in my suspension. I, uh, yesterday I came home after work and I spent about four hours just washing the underside of my car. Um, the outside looks good, but underneath and when you sit inside the car, you can see and smell, um, you know, you smell this rotting flesh and blood and wet animal fur. So um, today's episode is going to be all about washing the undercarriage, washing out my wheels, and taking a look into the engine bay. Um, yesterday I just focused on the undercarriage. Today I'm going to spend some time in here. You can literally see there's like blood and I don't even know dirt and whatever else got like spit up under my car and so now I need to wash all this stuff out get the smell out hopefully we can get rid of it um, I've mixed up a couple of chemicals in there some APC and some uh, some car soap it's um I, I didn't get any real video yesterday because I was just focused on cleaning my car and getting all of the nasty chunks out but I do have a couple of clips of stuff that I pulled from the undercarriage so I'll, th I'll throw those in, I'll, I'll edit those in so you guys can see what it looked like before I washed it off because the car does not look bad now but yesterday it was horrible um, so I'll put those clips in but just a little warning for you guys it is very very disgusting I was pulling out chunks of meat and washing out under the car um, so today's gonna be round two. We're gonna try and get the rest of that stuff out. It's all in there It was wrapped around the metal. It's not something as simple as just taking the hose I actually had to glove up and pull pieces out. It's disgusting and inside it smells horrible So today we're gonna try and do that. This is baseline fresh. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's get to it uh, God there's there's blood and guts all oh, oh, all underneath this car. Oh. oh god. Oh holy sh man. Come on. Oh where the hell do I put this thing? There's pieces. There's. Oh. Ew, man. There's a piece of deer hanging off my f***ing car, dude. That's not cool, man. This is, this is insane. This is disgusting. I'm, I'm literally spraying out under my car. I'm spraying it with this thing and trying to clean out all this deer. And there's literally chunks. There's literally, oh, I don't even, I don't even want to zoom in on it. There's literally chunks of deer coming out of my back wheels and my back suspension. Oh, my poor car. It smells horrible. As soon as you go close to like the wheels or close to the underside, it smells like deer. Like, oh, like horrible, like animal, wet animal smell.
starting off, we hit up the engine with foam after we've placed a plastic bag and um, some protection around the battery and the fuse box. It's generally safe to get your engine wet. It gets wet during rainfall or in wet climates anyway. There's, no, um, there's nothing wrong with that, but you just don't want to soak certain components that are in your engine bay. This is why I cover up the battery. Or, best case scenario, take the battery out, clean it separately, and you get clean underneath the battery and around that area. So once you've applied a nice layer of foam, Try to get that foam everywhere you can, raise your arms up, go from different angles, maybe even walk around the car a little bit. Try to get that foam everywhere it can go. After that, I go in with a very soft bristle brush, agitating anywhere I can reach, anywhere that looks like it isn't too fragile, anywhere that looks comfortable for me. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about doing engine bay detail, they don't want to mess anything up. But for the most part, all of this stuff is really solid in here. You can go at it with a brush and lightly agitate. If you don't feel comfortable, just don't do it. Try to let the chemical and the foam get in there and wash it out that way. You don't have to do a physical agitation everywhere. It's better to be safe than sorry. But as you can see here, I'm going in, putting in a little elbow grease, hitting it up with another layer of foam. And then after that, you can do your pressure rinse. Once again, don't hold it in one spot, don't soak anywhere for too long, keep it in nice smooth movements, always moving around the engine bay. Rinse out everything, try to get all the foam, try to get off any debris that might be stuck in there. And finally, you can either use some sort of air system like a fan or a leaf blower, or you can just let it air dry and sun dry like I did in this video. But the after is definitely going to be a huge difference. start off with here, you can see I have a bucket filled with an APC Dawn dish soap and Meguiar's Gold Class soap mixture. I have my various tools, which include a soft bristle hand brush for the wheel wells, as you can see here. It also includes a medium bristle brush, um, what, what's usually sold as a water bottle cleaning brush, but if you find the right 
bristle strength. It works great for inner rims in the barrel. And then we also have a black and red wheel brush. This is more on the tougher side to get in deep on those wheels, get into the rubber. And then finally, just a regular microfiber pad. It's really maneuverable, but it also is able to scrub and get stuff off of the face of the wheel and in the lug nuts. So after applying foam, you can see I did the wheel wells and now I'm doing the rubber on the outside. A few good passes with some decent pressure is enough to get those good. This is just a maintenance wash. Obviously, if your rims are really dirty, you should be um, spending a lot more time on it. Then after doing your rubber, you can go into the barrel. Remember to reapply foam or dip your brush back into the bucket every once in a while. Keep it lubricated and keep that chemical reacting to what's back there. My goal for this was to get out whatever nasty dried up stuff might be on my brakes or in the back of the barrel and also to get rid of the smell that was coming out of my wheel wheel. Um, so for the mixture in the bucket, it worked out really well and it took out the smell. It was once again APC like Lysol or Mr. Clean and um, some Dawn dish soap as a degreaser. Very, very powerful but gentle degreaser. And some Meguiar's Gold Class, which is just a general all around great car soap. Once you can, you know, detail this to your desire and to your cleanliness level, um, you can just rinse it off with the power washer. Make sure you get inside the barrels, rinse off everywhere, don't leave any foam around. Try to make sure everything is coated with a good layer of water. Um, here you can see I'm rinsing off my utensils as I go. It really helps with you know keeping the bucket clean and keeping your gear clean over time so I can keep using it. Um, after a good rinse, I think the before and afters speak for themselves. It's a great result. It only took me about 10-ish minutes per wheel, but of course, it's all about how much time you want to spend, how much effort you want to put into it. Um, this really did help get rid of the smell, and I noticed a lot of dirt and debris coming off during the rinse phase, so I think I did a great job. As you can see from the before and afters, a really huge difference. This method will serve you well in the future. I hope you guys learned a little something today. This has been Baseline Fresh. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe and share this with other people who so might find this interesting. I cleaned out the undercarriage of this car. I cleaned out the engine bay. I cleaned all four of the brakes and as deep into the sus suspension parts back behind the wheels and tires and rims. Um, it was a mixture of APC, Meguiar's Gold Class, and Dawn dish soap. Um, I was just trying to remove the smell and try to get out as much of these uh, blood and guts from the deer. I think I did a pretty good job. There's definitely a difference in the look of it. Um, I got out a lot of blood and a lot of fur from um, all inside my engine bay and in my wheel wells. Uh, there's literally, and like stuff that I was blasting off the suspension, there's literally a bag of deer chunks in there. Um, and of course, I'll, you saw earlier the clips from yesterday of when I got out even more stuff on the initial rings. So as you can see underneath the car, 
this is the aftermath. Two rounds of the undercarriage washer, and as you saw earlier, I sprayed it with the foam. Um, so that's how it looks now. Um, it still smells horrible when you get really close to the wheels, and um, even inside the car. Like, inside the car smells like wet animal, and I have no idea. Um, you know, what else is stuck there that I didn't blast out? What else is left? I can't even imagine. I don't want to imagine. Like, I'm trying to avoid turning on the, the air conditioner or the air heater because I don't know if there's any chunks of animal that's going to start smelling up once I use that again. Um, so hopefully uh, you guys were entertained by this. It was a lot of work. Um, but of course it's always fun using the pressure washer and the undercarriage blaster. Um, so this has been Baseline Fresh. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys liked what you saw. Uh, my name is AJ Supal with Baseline Fresh Detailing. Have a good day.